Good evening, everyone. Gilo here at the murder table. Tonight, we're going to try Amrit Fusion Single Malt Indian Whiskey. This is imported to the United States by Glass Revolution Imports, headed by our friend Whiskey Raj, a.k.a. Raj Sabarwal. I got this whiskey about two years ago at a tasting that Raj headed in Philadelphia at the Union League where he did basically a tasting in the blind of a wide array of whiskeys from around the world. There was uh, Amrit whiskey, there was whiskey from Ireland, uh, England, Scotland, and Canada, I believe, and there may have been a few more. But it was a pretty wide array, and none of us knew what anything was, and we had to guess what the spirits were, what country they came from, all that good stuff. So it was a really fun night, and Raj does a really good job of explaining everything. So at the end of the night, which was organized by our friend Rob, Pennsylvania's weird. So he had to buy all the whiskey from the state, and then he gets to keep it all, whatever was left over. So at the end of the night, he split everything up, and I chose this one to take home. So since there's not much left in the bottle, I thought I'd do a quick tasting of this and, uh, you know, put it up on the old YouTube. So I'm going to go in and give this a quick nosing. Um, as you can see, the color is pretty dark. It's, it's, you know, our, my favorite, good old Amber. She's doing a little dance. We like Amber a lot. Um, so that, that's about all I can say about the color, but it is very pretty. Maybe uh, almost like a bronze or copper. So it's pretty dark. And again, they don't give you an age statement, but this could be anywhere from, I don't know, I don't think it's more than a couple years old. So given all the, uh, you know, the, the altitude and the heat, this stuff matures rather quickly. Let me go back in. So it does a nice little, nice little color. As far as legs go, it looks a little nice and thick, clinging to the inside of the glass. I'm gonna go in for a little nosing here. This is bottled at 50% ABV. Good bit of vapors coming off of this. Very rich, very flavorful. Maybe a little nutty, like maybe some hazelnut. Not really peaty on this one, but there is almost like a tobacco, like a cigar wrapper or maybe um, some pipe tobacco. There is some light brown sugar. It's not particularly sweet on the nose. There's some herbal notes coming through as well. Maybe a little bit of, maybe a little licorice, maybe. It smells really nice though. This is this has definitely some, uh, some octane to it. It has definite oomph. Maybe getting a little bit of baking spices too. Maybe a little clove. All right, I'm gonna go in for a little taste. A little oily on the palate. Very hot. Starts off really, really hot. Some black pepper, maybe some chilies, a good bit of cinnamon. Then you get that tobacco and maybe leather. You get that kind of a really rich, oaky flavor to it. The heat continues into the mid palate. A little bit of sweetness comes through. You get a little brown sugar, maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Um, I get more of that tobacco, but it's, it's nice. It's really, really nice. This is very intense. This is not easy going. Very drinkable, very good, but it's got a little fight in it, which I really like. Ooh, at the, on, the, on the back end, in the finish, you get some of those herbaly notes. And you still get a lot more heat. You get a good bit of spice, which lingers for a really long time. It's a really, really good whiskey. I mean, I could see this. This, this is mixable. I don't find most Scotch whiskeys to be mixable. But I think this is, much like the, um, the Glenfiddich that I reviewed with the West Coast office a while back. It has that tobacco and all those baking spices. I could see this going into, you know, a nice cocktail whether it be an old-fashioned, which has kind of become the standard these days around here um, because it's just a damn good drink. Very rich, very intense, very delicious. I think this could hold its own with just about any scotch out there. I give this a pretty high mark. I'd say this is an 89 or a 90. Um, and again, we tried about 8 or 10 whiskeys that night, and this is the one I chose to bring home because it was just unique and different and you know, not something that I find that easily around here. So I figured I might as well take my chance and try it. So anyhow, like I said, 89.90, very rich, mixable, drinkable straight, probably nice on ice, maybe in a highball, but it, it, it has some versatility to it. If you like what you heard, please subscribe and stay tuned for more episodes from the murder table, hopefully with Limpty and, uh, and the West Coast office. And cheers.